You know how old a home buyer was in 2007 in America? How old? 39 years of age. Well, close, but not quite. You accurately quoted 2007's all buyer average at 39. But that 39 is being derived from the first buyer median of 31 and the repeat buyer median of 46. And the problem with taking a mathematical average of two medians is it doesn't properly account for sample size. We have no idea how many people were in each group. If there was 1,000 people in one group and 10 in another, then the group of 10 is more weighted on the mathematical average. Further, I don't know why the repeat buyer age is really a, a matter here. These are people that have bought a house, moved out of it, sold it, moved into another house. We need to focus our efforts on the first time home buyers, and that is a 31. And that means half of all first time home buyers were under the age of 31 and half were over. So we need to ask, is 31 years old too old to be getting into your first home? And why is it taking until age 31 or older for people to be able to afford their first home? To 2025, do you know how old home buyers are in America? How old are home buyers in America today? The median age was 56 years old for people buying property in America. And again, you are accurate with that quote of 56 years old, but that number doesn't matter. What we want to focus on is the first time home buyer average age reached 38 in 2024. As you can see in the chart directly behind my head, 25% of people in the age group of 26 to 34 owned a previous home. 49% of people 35 to 44 did, and 58, 45 to 59 did. So I'm a little confused as to why we're driving this age to the right. Is it meant for hysteria? Is it meant to, you know, befuddle the point or obfuscate a further point? Why, why are you fixated on the, making the age older? Let's focus on rising home prices and high mortgage rates. I don't want to wait till I'm 56 to buy a home. The average age of a new car buyer is 53 years old, but I don't think anybody would believe that people in their late teens, 20s, 30s, and 40s aren't buying new vehicles. We have to be really careful when we present data because data tells a story. And if we don't understand the data, we're telling the wrong story.